Many thanks for joining us again on the newsroom. I am Victoria Akonde and these are the headlines we are tracking at the moment. Fire on Thursday engulfed a mobile fuel station in Ikeja, Lagos. The incident occurred around 11 a.m. during a busy period of petroleum motor spirit sales. Reports indicate that more than two vehicles were consumed by the ensuing fire. And the Department of State Service, DSS, has refuted reports claiming that its officers had raided the headquarters of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, in Abuja. The denial follows Wednesday's allegations by NLC that the service had sent armed men to its office and that they had carted away some documents. Now, the Plateau State Government has further relaxed the curfew imposed on the Joss Bukuru metropolis as residents are now permitted to move freely for their lawful activities from 12 noon to 6 p.m. daily until further notice. In a statement signed by the Director of Press and Public Affairs, Gianbere, the relaxation takes effect from Thursday after Governor Caleb Mufswang, in consultation with security agencies, reviewed the security situation in the affected areas. The Nigerian Air Force said that its air component of Operation Adinkai on Thursday conducted airstrikes on terrorist enclaves at Graza, a location deep in the Mandara Hills, a bid to achieve the mandate of the operation. Air Vice Marshal Edward Gabek, Director of Public Relations and Information, said the strikes conducted on 2nd August 2024 aimed at decimating terrorists who recently attacked innocent civilians in Borno State using improvised explosive devices and suicide bombers. The Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, MAN, has warned that the continued non-redemption of $2.4 billion forward contracts by the Central Bank of Nigeria poses a grave threat to the survival of some Nigerian manufacturing companies. In a statement made available to journalists on Thursday, Director General of MAN, Shegun Ajayi Kadir, lamented that the unsettled forward contracts have led to the sector incurring 1.5 trillion naira in foreign exchange transaction losses in the last six months. And on the foreign scene, Kenyan police fired volleys of tear gas on Thursday in the heart of the capital Nairobi as small groups of protesters gathered on what was billed as a fresh day of action against embattled President William Ruto. According to newsmen, riot police patrolled the streets of the central business district. Roadblocks were set up on major arteries and many shops were shut down, but barely dozens of demonstrators turned out. And finally on sports, Team Nigeria's 400 meters relay teams on Thursday in Paris recorded season best times in their respective races, but still failed to advance to the 2024 Olympic Games. Both teams failed to qualify for their next round in the events at the opening round. Running from lane one in round eight two, the women's team finished sixth after a time of 42.70 seconds for a season best. And these are the headlines making the rounds at this time. Join us again at the top of the app for more stories. I am Victoria Conde. Bye for now.